Hi, I'm Eric Bell. I'm 15 years old. I'm in uh, the year nine of uh, high school. And my life changed uh, from quite early when in August of 2020, I lost my father to lung cancer. My father was 57 at the time and I was just 12. My father had stopped smoking 12 years or 10 years, in fact, before I was born. Uh, matter of fact, my birth was the catalyst of um, his halt for smoking. So when I was born, he stopped smoking, which you could say was my gift to the family when I was born. I remember that when my father got sick, I was quite sad and I was also quite angry. I remember being quite angry towards my father for smoking. Uh, angry because I thought at, at the time I believed that smoking was the only reason for cancer. And that was wrong because I was wrong. Matter of fact, now that I'm a bit older and quite a bit wiser, I've realised that it's not the only reason. It's not the only cause of lung cancer. And because of this, I feel as if I've cheated my father. I feel as if I've... I feel like I'm at fault for making him feel the way that he probably felt at the time. And this has caused me to believe that the stigma for cancer does not, or at least it should not in any way um, be used to make someone feel the way that I made my father feel. The stigma is wrong. It should just be picked up, crumpled and thrown in the trash, and then maybe burn the trash. But, oh well. My father did not know about early screening, something that might have even given him a chance to live. And that is quite unfortunate, because every person should have the right early screening, every person should know about what they have, if they have, and when. Every person should have the right to be able to tackle such a harsh, such a harsh disease in any way, shape or form. Every person should have that right, even though many don't. You see, my father, he had the right to know about early screening. He just didn't have the knowledge. He had the right to get better, but he didn't get the chance. And he had the right to live, but it was too late, wasn't it? Yes, ma'am. Jag hade glömt att finna på det.